Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 3 video because today I thought it'd be really fun to kind of get back into my Sims 3, you know, era. Because honestly, for the past couple of months, I have not uploaded a video in the Sims 3 in quite some time. And now I feel the urge to play the game again. So I thought, why not start with a build? Now, personally, this is not your ordinary build because I'm actually building a bed and breakfast resort here in Appaloosa Plains, which is the world that came with the Sims 3 pets, which honestly, I don't really play with pets that much in general just because I don't really have a general interest in them and playing with them since you can't really control them fully however I do like the general aspect of the world like especially in the winter time and the fall time and having my kids and my adult sims play with their pets train them get to know them and, you know the whole thing and I've been playing this like current household in the sims 3 for quite some time that you all have not seen yet because I wanted to kind of play the game for myself and just enjoy it for what it is without anyone seeing it and I want to be able to kind of understand the game again because back in the day I didn't really play a lot of The Sims 3 growing up because I wasn't really interested in it because I played a lot of The Sims 2 and that was like my mindset and my focus for the longest time up until like the very end of The Sims 3 era and I personally have to say The Sims 3 itself is so surreal so amazing I love the open world aspect I love the drama of the notifications that happen around town I just like the whole like idea of it. However, I do not like the lag that comes with The Sims 3. However, my save file right now is, you know, you know, wholesome, a little bit, you know, chaotic, a little bit, you know, out there because I don't know about this because when I played The Sims 3 and I opened up a new save, I was like, I'm going to do a wholesome gameplay with one Sim, get them married, if any, and then have kids and if they adopt, I really don't know. Well, here's the thing. I did a bad no-no and made one sim. And then it was like, let's just, you know, do some gameplay for a little bit for two days, IRL two days and do that. I got bored after two days because I just like one sim, it's not enough. And I was basically halfway through my career and like my age and I wanted to spice up a little bit more. So I had the idea of sleeping and having a kid with my next door neighbor. So I did that. Little did I know is that the Sim was a warlock already married and had a baby on the way. So I did not know that. And I found that out later after the fact. And so basically what ha happened was, is that we had the baby, they had their own baby. They got divorced after like two days of finding out all the drama. They all went their separate ways. They all moved and everything like that. And basically now, my baby daddy's ex-wife lives next door to my new house and he lives on the other side of town, which is like two blocks away, which is not that far. And they have their own separate lives. They're all remarried to different people and they're all having their own kids. And so the family tree is getting a little bit, you know, messy at the moment. So far it's only like, you know, four, seven Sims right now. So it's not as bad. But when I was looking at Appaloosa Plains for this world and how I wanted to kind of grow a little bit more, I was thinking of making these different little townies in the world and give them like their proper, you know, community lodge, their resorts, their businesses. And this is where I kind of kind of got the idea of the bed and breakfast because there's already a bed and breakfast in Appaloosa Plains. And I thought, why not build like a more smaller one that seems a little bit more intimate with only two bedrooms and one bathroom. And it just seemed very fitting. And so I don't really have like an idea of what I want to call this build so far, but I'm thinking of calling it the Ashland Bed and Breakfast, which is going to be a townie, a set of like Sims in this world that will live on like a farm side who owns like a vineyard and a nectary as well. And they own like a small bed and breakfast. And I think it'd be really cool to kind of add some story into the mix. So you'll see like a creative sim of like the Ashen family, more so of like the current generation, um, because the other Ashen people lived in Italy. And so they kind of revenged back over to Appaloosa Plains. So you'll see like, you know, the current sims that live in Appaloosa Plains, if you know what I mean. I'm not making the older generation because I do not have time for that. You'll have to figure that out on what they look like way before. But anyway, I just feel so excited because I feel like I'm in my Sims 3 building era again, which feels so weird because I have not built in the Sims 3 in, oh gosh, it's been a very long time. I think maybe it's been like maybe a year and a half, two years since my last speed build in the Sims 3. I will link it down below in case you all want to watch that video because I think I built 
a suburban house. That's usually all that I build in The Sims 3 anyway. I know like one of my most popular videos on YouTube is my, I think my family is suburban home, whatever it's called, I don't know. I will also link that video down below as well. But I don't know, something about The Sims 3 and building suburban homes just feel right because there's generations, there's seasons, there's, uh, you know, island paradise. There's just like everything you needed for family gameplay. And so I gravitate towards that so much since The Sims 3 and also did in The Sims 2 and now doing The Sims 4. But I do like a lot of like, you know, randomness. But I like suing Sims for slander for like no reason because I'm like, it's already there. It's an option. It's in the game. I mean, I don't really use mods that much in The Sims 3 besides like, you know, the necessary ones like Enros and, you know, the smooth patch mod to make the game run better and everything. But I really don't use anything outside of that because I don't see the point in it. But I have come to terms to actually download a couple of mods, like a banking mod, just to like take out loans and, you know, do some storytelling into the mix, just to kind of add a little zhuzhin up a little bit. I do, however, have to say that with The Sims 3, what I find so annoying is that when you ever go to like a community lot, everything is empty. So there's nothing anywhere, which is not great because when there's nothing in the town, there's no people in the town, it's kind of like, what do you do, you know? So I wish it was a little bit more filled up. And I think that's why I'm kind of getting back into Sims 3 again again to fill up the worlds and kind of see it in a different perspective because like the sims 2 you go to the community lot there's sims already there the sims 4 they're already there too but with the sims 3 it's a little bit different and so like i said i'm building all these different like you know community lots and these houses and making all these sims to kind of fill up the world and make it less boring and more exciting for me to play through um, I'm getting very close to generation two of my legacy, um, which I'm very happy for y'all to like kind of see because this sim is like part of like, an extended supernatural family in this town already that I just mentioned. You'll see, a, I think I'm uploading this video after I upload the, the gameplay version. Either way, you'll see the video before this build anyway, but like this family is is getting larger and larger. But however, the, the Gen 2, he's not a supernatural at all. He's a full-fledged human like his mother. And so I want to be able to be like a well, like renowned photographer and like go to these like different worlds, like, you know, Egypt, China, and France to take a lot of photography, open up their own like, you know, nectary in Italy or, or something, like buy a vacation home. And I don't know if I want them to go to university or not, but I think I should just to experience university again, because I didn't really play with it that much. So I want to see how that kind of plays in with my gameplay. So I will report back when that happens for Gen 2, which you'll probably see in like maybe in a couple of weeks, because I want to do like a monthly current household update where I update you all on what's been going on in my Sims 3 or like my Sims 2 or like the Sims 4. Like you already know my Pleasant View save. I do that every once in a while, Sims 4. I don't think I've ever done one actually, which honestly I do have a current household that I want to share with you in The Sims 4 very soon. But um, besides the other games, this is The Sims 3. The Sims 3 is, is, is a game that I'm learning to love again and I'm very happy. And the fact that my child for Gen 2 is going to be a photographer and be a world you know renowned photographer, I want to build these like homes for them to live in like this bed and breakfast they can stay on whenever they are returning back to town because their mother is almost an elder in like eight days now at this point so with them being a little bit older and kind of getting more knowledge and expertise i think it'd be perfect for them to kind of like you know live in different places they already have a secondary home they already own from like a long time ago so they have you know places to live if they don't you know get to live in their own parents home after they you know decease which is not great which I'm not really looking forward to honestly and what's even sad is that all through gen 1 I didn't really take any videos because there's a video camera with the sims 3 generations which I love so much and I feel so bad because I didn't take any videos of any kind throughout my child's childhood like their first steps or you know them going potty training I don't I didn't do any of that which I feel so bad and I, I always usually do but you know maybe gen 2 can you know pick up the slack and take videos of everything you know all the towns that they go to all the townies that they meet the worlds that they travel to so I definitely want to be able to 
do that a little bit more. So I'm very, very, very excited for you all to see a little bit more Sims 3 videos on the channel. And I cannot wait for like more gameplay for myself. I don't know, I just feel very, very excited. But regardless, I think I wanna show you the game. But either way, I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you the house in The Sims 3 in Appaloosa Plains in real time, because I think we all need to see what this actually looks like. So when I was building this bed and breakfast in Appaloosa Plains, I was thinking, Appaloosa Plains, Ashland, let's go with green. So I made the roof, wallpaper, and pretty much everything on the inside green, but made it tasteful and classy and not bougie and ratchet because that would be sad and not glad. And honestly, for a bed and breakfast is small, it seemed reasonable. It didn't really need a lot of stuff per se. Like the side yard, you got your grill and your two picnic tables, and of course, a wedding arch. Because you know what's funny? When I think of bed and breakfast, I think of that one, the Independence Inn in Gilmore Girls. I love like that general like country, family, community style of building and I kind of wanted to keep it the same and I felt like with bed and breakfasts or like many small hotels end up having weddings on their property so they can earn more money out of it and it just seemed very fitting but as for the inside I really didn't know what I wanted per se just because I was still relearning build and buy how to build layouts create a style the whole nine yards because the sims 3 building is a whole other like you know vibe experience rather than like the sims 2 build and buy or the sims 4 build and buy but the sims 3 it built differently because when I tell you, you can manipulate whatever you want in The Sims 3, you could. Like if I wanted to change the color of this couch, I could do whatever I want. If I wanted to change it to like maybe a brown or like, you know, a blue or like a purple or like a green, I could. And you could do that across the board to whatever you wanted. And that my friends was too much power. And honestly, I wasn't mad about it. I allowed it and continued with it. Because personally, I could spend hours on end customizing everything to my liking to make everything match. And I would, and I could, and I just might. But I felt like for this one, it just didn't really need that. And I wanted to keep it very simple with the colors and simple with the objects and not go too over the top. And the fact that I have a fireplace in this corner with two chairs and a rug, I feel like there might be a fire, but you know, we'll come to that when it happens. We do have a fire department nearby, so we should be good. Which honestly, now that I think about it, maybe I should make a fire station after the Ashland family. <gasps> that could be a good idea. Either way, we have a fire station nearby in this town, so we're totally fine. But I felt with like this general bed and breakfast, I always feel like there could be like a pet nearby or a pet on the premises that lives here, sleeps here, does all their things. So I put like a little scratching post and a pet bed over here. I don't have like any pet toys per se, just because I just didn't feel like I needed it. And the cat can scratch whatever they want, but they got a scratching post to keep them busy for hours. And then the general upstairs is pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward to what you're doing and what you're liking. And I wanted to keep it again, very minimal and not too over the top. So I added a couch or like a little armchair with a easel and also a turtle terrarium, which I feel like, you know, turtles are very nice and cute and they don't slither out of your cage after a long period of time because snakes, lizards, and rats, no me gusta, not for this bed and breakfast. And then of course you have your two basically identical bedrooms for this bed and breakfast. And like I said, it's not really a bed and breakfast for like a full family to live in. It's more so like, like income travelers coming here and there from different worlds, or you just want to stay at a place for a while away from your general home. So you have like two spaces you can live in. And like, if you want to like end up living somewhere else to another bed and breakfast, you could go to the next one, to the Greenward, you know, bed and breakfast down the street. But I think if you want a cozy, comfy, you know, nice community feel of a bed and breakfast, I think you should stay here. But, you know, ultimately, that is up to you. If you want to go to the Greenwoods bed and breakfast, they do got good stuff, but they they expensive. We cheap and affordable and we have good quality service. So good quality service or you want to go with something more expensive. <laughs> but anyway, two bedrooms and then also a little facility over here for bathroom needs and laundry needs. If you end up having laundry, you can come over here and do your laundry with a washer and dryer and then also your all-in-one bathroom, which honestly just seemed very fitting because having like, a, I don't know, a toilet and a sink and a shower seemed too much when it comes to having two guests or multiple people living in the same area. It just didn't seem right. So having an all-in-one bathroom 
kind of take care of all of your needs where it's a, a bathroom, like a toilet, sink, and shower all wrapped into one. Best thing ever to invent it in The Sims 3. I believe this one came with Island Paradise, I'm pretty sure. And there were like a few others that came with Supernatural and then also with Into the Future. Like this one right here, like that one right there came with Into the Future. And then this one came with Supernatural, which now that I think about it, I kind of want to build like a rundown bed and breakfast in the woods in one of the worlds that I want to play in at one point. But this is like another general like like outhouse all in one bath and that you can kind of kind of give the gist of what you're kind of getting out of it but either way that is the ashlyn bed and breakfast i do hope you all enjoyed this build if you want to download it for yourself and you have the sims 3 i will link it down below in the description to a lovely sim file share link so you can get it for yourself but either way as always i do hope you all enjoyed it let me know down in the comments below as always of what do you thought of this build and as always i will see you all in the next video bye